The story of Akoi. Immediately after it happened, it was intentionally obfuscated. There's a lot to this story that we'll never really know. Often people have heard of events like Tulsa or Rosewood, uh, but those happened after Akoi. Akoi almost set a precedent of these types of, of racial massacres. Uh, but it's important for communities to recognize that these events happened here, to make known. You can't start to heal from something unless you've even acknowledged uh, that it ever happened. Every black person living in Akoi lost something that night, and that has impacted their family for generations. And that's how this fits into the broader history of black uh, individuals living in America from enslavement up through today, uh, this disenfranchisement, this theft of property, uh, loss of life, and these different things. Voting is one of the main themes of the exhibition. It is the, the reason given uh, for why the Akoi massacre really kicked off, though there was a lot more to it than that. Um, but it's, it's all about enfranchisement. When you have a vote, when you have a say and you express your voice, you're fighting for your community, for your country's best interest. And for hundreds of years, that's not been a thing that's been made simple or even possible for many black residents or black Americans living here in this country. People have died. People have been brutalized. People have lost their homes, their livelihoods for each one of us today to have that right to vote. So I think that the message is really pervasive throughout this exhibit is that we need to stand up. We need to express our right to vote. We need to raise our voices, um, everybody, and we need to act. We need to work towards change uh, and making a, a better America.